I'm John from ASA Products. We're in the south of Joburg. So we've been in the industry for almost 30 years now. We run 24 hour production setup. And last year, as we all remember, all the load shedding we had up until stage six was horrendous, uh, especially for our business. Uh, we, re we run big machinery and extruders and hammer mills. We, we can't afford to, to have downtime. And we were looking at different alternative energy sources. And it just so happened to be that we got in touch with Igoli Gas and the right people to, to get a gas engine on site. So uh, fast track, basically a year and a half, and we are completely off grid. Island motors, they say, and uh, we are we're, we're we're running on gas flawlessly without issues, 24 hours a day. From Equali side, what we needed was uh, a, obviously a steady supply of gas. So uh, we got we got going with that, and they uh, installed a pipeline for us from the closest connection point. So we have a dedicated pipeline running to our premise, and. Uh, that was done in, in April or May last year. So, as it stands, we've been off grid now fully since May this year. Our engine came from the States. It's a Walkershaw engine. Can produce up to 660 kilowatts. Uh, so we're running at around 65% of that, 24 hours. Got the first engine on site. We have ordered a second engine as well just to be a direct backup for you for each other uh, meaning as a result power outages is no more uh, an issue for our business which uh, for us is a big bonus now uh, first of all not just from uh, a manufacturing point of view but but also running island mode off grid uh, solve most of our problems any dips in electricity and our machine starts switching off it, it's chaotic uh, at best of time so now we don't have that anymore so we are looking at uh, the outlet uh, the heat the heat uptake but currently as it stands we are running roughly about 40 percent cheaper than so that alone is a big enough saving for us uh, cost cost is one thing but the un un uninterrupted supply is the biggest factor for us servicing is really not a big issue for these machines they only get serviced on set intervals and they're quite far apart it's not like your ordinary diesel engines to give you an idea our oil changes are only at 1500 hours the, the only negative thing is the capex investment uh, these engines are not cheap after that running cost is cheap gas is cheap uh, the service that we that we get from equality is second to none uh, Best, best service that uh, we've, we've had in the third world country by a long shot.